the number one talk show online, the world-famous Jiggy Jaguar Show. Well, I'm not sure what the hell happened to the great Erwin Zucker. We had him, and then we didn't have him. That's either him or Sandra Lee. We'll figure it out. Or it's no one. <laughs> it's no one. It's another edition of It's No One. Starring the people that call my studio line. It's another edition of It's No One. No one on the other end. Exciting new series coming from the makers of Answer the Goddamn Telephone. To shut the front door, it's time for another edition of No One. No one on the phone. No one. <laughs> I don't know what that means. So let's do this. Let's go to our. Let's go to another segment. Let, let, let's do this. I. I have not had a chance to really um, bash the Talkers Magazine, uh, folks, in a while. <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. New Heights for Hannity. Now over 650 affiliates. He's now uh, advertising on the Talkers Magazine thing. Trump and Ruth, they're exactly the same. Get Wayne Allen to ruin your station. Always love all these. Let's do this. Where is the Talker's Heavy 100? I don't know if we'll be able to get through this in 15 minutes, but we'll see what happens here. Now, the editors of Talker's Magazine put together a thing called the Talker's Magazine Heavy 100 every year. And what this is, is they basically rank talk radio hosts. And this has been out for a while. I think this got put out in April, maybe, May. But uh, I am always really interested in some of the people that make this list. Some of the people who didn't make this list this year, obviously Rush Limbaugh because he passed away. Bubba the Love Sponge is not on this list. I guess we'll go to Sandra Lee. Sandra, how are you, my friend? Hey, James, I'm well, thank you. How are you? <laughs> how are you? Uh, we have got the great Sandra Lee with us today. She joins us live here on our big program, Coast to Coast and Border to Border on KFRK in Denver. And, of course, Sandra Lee's books are available on Barnes & Noble. Go over and pick those books up today. She has got some Incredible, incredible books. So, Sandra, what do you have for us today, my friend? You always have some interesting well, honey, things. I had a great Thanksgiving. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? You know, for the first time in a really long time, I actually had a really decent Thanksgiving. I don't know it what the hell that was all about. Nice. I think all of us just said, oh, please, give me a break. Let's take a day off. <laughs> really nice. Oh, please. And now, you know, we're facing Christmas. And guess what the most popular toy is for little girls this Christmas? What is that? A Barbie dream house. Look at that. Yeah, well, good luck with that, James. Do you have any <laughs> idea what houses cost these days? <laughs> That's Unbelievable. awesome. Unbelievable. The lumber is up. All the things you use to build the house is up. My significant other is a home builder, and it's it's staggering how the prices are going up on homes, and everybody wants to beat the low interest thing, you know, and grab a house while they can. And you just can't get supplies. They can't get these houses up. I'm not going to blame this on Biden because he's such a wonderful president. <laughs> well, maybe he's not so wonderful. Maybe he's not even good. Maybe, in fact, he's terrible. But I did write a Dear Donald page on the Barbie Dream House, and I want to share the it. The Barbie Dream ready? House. That's awesome. Go, my friend, go. That's is great. <laughs> dear Donald, dear Donald, this is November 30th. The most popular gift this Christmas is the Barbie Dream House. 
the American dream of the alive and well. But the reality is that the price of houses is skyrocketing across the entire country. You know me, Donald, I'm always looking for a rainbow in the winter sky. Not long ago, you were on the Greg Kelly Show, Donald, on Newsmax for 15 minutes, and you sounded great. You were calm, focused, and strong. You know what we know, and that is that we were cheated and that the election was not legitimate in the eyes of a huge part of America. Mike Lindell, thank God for Mike Lindell. He doesn't just make pillows. This guy has gathered a plethora of evidence to substantiate the corruption in voter integrity across the nation, but little girls in America still believe in the American Dream House with a picket fence. Mike Lindell, thank you, God, is not just giving us pillows. He's just searching for dozens and dozens of ways to clean up voter corruption so that all of us can trust elections in the future. It's not an easy task. And this man, he seems like a very simple man, but he takes on enormous challenges. Well, despite all of the discouraging news things, and there is a ton of it, you know that we will not abandon Donald. We've lost her again. What is the deal with the phone today? Let's try Sandra Lee back on our cell phone. I'll call her back on the cell phone. I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. Well, let's try Erwin Zucker back. We'll try Irwin again. We had a technical problem. We had a technical phone. issue. I'm not sure what happened. I was I was hoping it wasn't, uh, you know, dangerous. We we we've, 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 we've got you back right with us. Yes, we we we've got you back oh, with us, Irwin. Let's um. My apologies. No, you're good. You're good. I just when whenever whenever we we have drop calls, no, uh, I always worry. Uh, I do <laughs> I'm happy to hear from uh, anybody who's interested in books or any of uh, things literary of any nature. I I'd love to hear from people. Um, did, did, did you, were, were we on the air when I gave out my phone number? Oh, uh, we had just lost you right before that. So so give out those details because we've still got some time here. Yeah, okay, look, anybody can contact me if they're interested in writing a book and they don't have the process, they don't know what to do next, uh, I can help them. So uh, it's best to contact me, Irwin, I-R-W-I-N, Zucker, Z is in Zebra, Z-U-C-K-E-R. Then you've got to put the initials P-R, which stands for Public Relations, and it's at AOL.com. So the full email address is Irwin Zucker, P-R, at AOL.com. Fantastic. At AOL .com. And again, I want to emphasize certain points that uh, you should write about what you know. Well, that, that's the best thing. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to spend too much time on research. Write about what you know best. That, and it'll, it'll come out very nicely. And try to write something every day. And if you're not in the mood to write, don't write. Don't force it. It should be natural. You should be happy about writing. It should be a great experience. And uh, you've got to teach people information. You've got to give out good information to, to your readership. That, that's very, very important. And try to make it uh, informative, educational, and wherever possible, inject humor. That's important to inject some humor and surprises. You've got to keep the people awake. You don't want your writing to be boring. A lot of people uh, write, and it's very boring. They may find it interesting, but it's not. So you've got to make things uh, of an appealing nature to people who are listening. That's it. That's, it. That's very, very important. And um, you've got to keep tuned to shows like uh, 
because he he has some great guests for you. Here. Yes, we yes. In day. in fact, yeah. I've 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 got one calling right now. Um, Irwin, I hate I hate to wrap up with you, but I've got my next guest calling. So uh, thanks okay. for doing this, and I will talk to you next week, my friend. Hey, thanks a million. Thank you, Irwin. Appreciate it, brother. There he goes. That is. Erwin Zucker, and I think we've got the great Sandra Lee back with us here. Uh, Sandra, we, we, we had a little bit of a mishap there. Are, are, are you still with us, my friend? Sandra, can you hear us? Can you hear us? I don't know if Sandra can hear us or not. Sa Sandra, are you with us, my friend? Oh, we're having all sorts of fun with technology today. So let's try Sandra Lee on the cell phone here before we... Sandra, can you hear us? Can you hear us? We're having some technical yes. issues today. I can you hear us? Did I lose you, my friend? Yes. Uh, you lost us. Is there any way we could um, finish up with you on Thursday at this exact same time? Would you be available then? Let's let's do that because then we'll have all the satellite issues and everything resolved. So I will just talk to you on Thursday then. You got it. I'll I appreciate it. I'll talk to you then, my friend. At four, you want it at the same time? Same time. Same time, my friend. I will talk to you Thursday. All right. Thank you, my friend. There she goes. That's Sandra Lee. And uh, good God, what a mess. We are... <laughs> going to uh put a bullet in this broadcast uh thank the lord above